away we go with the first men's semi-final. David Orman and Jonathan Helvig in the yellow, the number one seeds from Sweden, the new European champions, just have made it through to a top four. And rather like another team that a lot of tipping for a possible podium place this year, Metrell and Hausner of Switzerland. They have at last made it through. And analysis, uh, Clayton Lucas, we're looking forward to this one, Clayton, but it, it is going to come down to just that one thing. Can Switzerland keep the scoreboard ticking over? See what um, Sweden are going to do inside out, going with the auction ball straight away. So far, so Oh, great work. Yeah, both light men with a great oh, power to weight ratio, so there. Yep. With this block from Helvig, he's up, he's across, he's getting close. To so, 4-3, Sweden just going at this steadily. They have a superb belief now in their game, and that's what allows them to make plays like that. the target this work again past the block but Ormond's on it and the reverse pokey not put away but Ormond's going to get another swing here yeah it's good work and uh, Heidrich a little frustrated with Dillia they've ghosted into a 6-3 lead Sweden and they've yet to do anything truly spectacular Oh, there we go. Right on cue. It goes for the first cut, didn't work, so he cuts it even further. I mean, look at that. That's incredible. Um, in, in any other way, which is, has happened on a few junior events. Away we go again. Team in red. Switzerland, seeded 22 in this main draw. Their first top four finish, and that's why they are here. Monster block, quite rightly so. He's jumping in and taking a got the tough task though like Helvig of serving Heydrich and then sprinting into the net and trying to get hands on the option ball he did well there all control is the key good passing just makes all the difference and Helvig reminding very sharp deep float serve and then gets absolutely sucked in <laughs> with the jump set they've got so much to choose from it's really difficult to then work out what they're doing Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Heydrich trying to hit his way out of trouble. As Kerry Potas likes to say, hitting in a phone box. Oh, wow. They're trying the circus tricks and Switzerland doing very well to hang in there. Brilliant pick up from Orman and a fabulous block from Adrian Heydrich. As well for both these teams, that was a demanding rally. Sweden. Played well to get to this stage. The win over Carambula and Rossi of Italy was very good. Some pretty snazzy blocking signals there from Adrian Heydrich. <laughs> That's a very, very good touch. Pass from Dillia. Takes the middle ball. It's too tight, though, to Helvig, and he'll eat those up all day. Four-point cushion. Armand and Helvig have managed to get control early, and they've kept control. Option taken and drilled, absolutely drilled by Heydrich. Played at their absolute best in this match so far and still they have a convincing lead. But they set the bar high, Clay, because they're up quickly. Their footwork is absolutely sensational. Beautiful option swing. I mean, that, that's as good as it gets. Line block, signal to serve at Dillia and it's exactly what happens. The trickle ace though. Second time these two teams have met this season in Maldives. Sweden ruined the party for Switzerland with a pretty straightforward round of 16 win. And it looks like they're going to spoil the party here in form and targeted. And a little fakey on the play. And that's one of the best defensive pickups we've seen this week in Dubai. Brilliant from Dillian. Well, this is the man that could provide it. No, Armand steps into the middle to pass. And then just makes an exquisite play. I mean, how much time has he got in the end? That's crazy. Deep serve on Dillia. This to stay in the set. No, Helvig has other ideas. And a comprehensive performance from Sweden. Clinical. Well, they did the the basic stuff really well, didn't they? Served well. I don't think they missed a serve. And then blocking was excellent. You want to get the other team out of system, try and make it difficult for them to get it back over. Very nice. Oh. 
just insane. Absolutely insane. Good swing. Much more traditional style from Switzerland. Nicely done. More traditional route for Sweden too. Every point so far has been a side out point. So it's just gone uh, on... Straight back into his work. They're targeting Jonathan Helvig. Every, every time I think he looks tired. Good touch. Again from Dillia. Goalkeeper style, but it's all on the edge of the envelope here. Helvig again. You can see the players really gasping for air now. It's a great dig in the pocket. Real pressure on the hit, and that's a super cut shot cross court from Heydrich. Creeping in there, but excellent on that cut. No chance. 206, and again, the Centurion. Oh, just quite as fluid from Armand, but he's taking the option ball there and taking a little pressure off his teammate helping. Big side out this for Switzerland, and it's not made. And there's the mini break again from Sweden. You just felt it was coming. Coming during this uh, this set, and that's it. That'll do, nice loose arm swing from Dillia. Just exquisitely done from David Allman. And, and Schacht, who, who did it way back in um, the early 2000s with this jump setting, and it really upset other teams who were complaining all the time because they'd never seen it before. Really, the only team since then who's, who've taken it on and, and to the level, and uh, actually this is, this is perhaps the way forward. Fantastic touch from Helvig. And a quite brilliant swing again in the Swiss team getting out of system there with Dillia left stranded at the net and the big man defending. The Vikings, but the Norwegian variety. Holland saw them in terms of their CV already. Great movement. And again, here we go. And Helvig out jumps. With Sweden, they, you mentioned they're uh, perhaps being you know, a title contenders or medal contenders for... Paris and with that kind of blocking they will but they already have to be feared and certainly be respected again another good touch from Helvig against Dillier who's tiring with every shot but he finally gets that away it hasn't all completely gone their way but they're gradually finding the way to play on this tour that's unbelievable movement from Almond look at that Oh, wow, that was eight metres in, nice fall over, break. get up, eight metres back, and just down. put it on a plate for Helvig. Dillia, just, no, there's no there's no room there. There's no sand with David Arman on the prowl, and Dillia as well, shutting it down the line. That's a little bit better. There we go, there we go. <laughs> oh, dear me. Well, whatever happens in this top four championship Super Sunday to the team in red. Comes to him again and aces him. And this game is toast. Nine match points then for Sweden. That's a super swing at this stage in the game to find that kind of power from Dillier. But it's... Might get a circus trick to finish from the, Swi the Swedish pair. Nope, the denied Ladies by Dillia's service error. Swedish so this is one game too far for the Swiss duo. They crash out into the bronze medal match.